Wow. I, I'm sorry. I love the way you do that. It's just, just a little tap and now we're here together. Here, I got you some tech news. AMD has delayed the launch of its highly anticipated Ryzen 9000 series after discovering that the initial wave of processors shipped to retailers did not meet their full quality expectations. Perhaps because Intel and AMD went to the same party and caught something? Was there something in the punch? What's happening? Instead of launching all together on July 31st, the chips will arrive gradually, starting with the 9600X and 9700X on August 8th, followed by the Ryzen 9s, the 9900X and 9950X on the 15th. The delay follows Intel finally identifying a microcode error as the cause of widespread instability in its 13th and 14th gen chips. A patch is coming, also in mid-August, but while it will prevent future instability, Intel has confirmed it won't repair processors already damaged by the bug, so they've promised to replace the borked chips for free. They shall board the gray ships and pass into Valinor, for their time is ended. Sorry it was so shitty. The exact extent of the issue is hard to determine, but an anonymous European PC parts retailer told French news site Le Numérique that 13th gen Intel chips had a return rate four times higher than 12th gen chips, which would be around four to five percent. And that sounds low, but that's nearly one in 20 of these Intel CPUs being secretly borked. That's a gamble I'd rather not take. So hopefully Team Blue and Team Red remember how to release CPUs that don't blow up. The rumors about OpenAI working on a search engine were true. Yesterday, the company officially announced SearchGPT, a temporary prototype of new AI search features that will be integrated into ChatGPT at some point. What a terrible name. <laughs> oh, let me just search GPT that. OpenAI didn't say, but it's likely that SearchGPT hooks into Bing's search index in some way. Although they did say the prototype prominently links to content publishers, many of whom have made deals with OpenAI, like The Atlantic. So now SearchGPT can avoid legal trouble when it links to The Atlantic's article about how SearchGPT returned inaccurate results in its demo video. Demo errors for AI products are tradition at this point. It's part of the charm. These kind of content partnership deals may be the future of how the internet works, even if lots of AI companies haven't quite got the memo yet. 404 Media reported that Runway trained its AI video tools by scraping pirated movies, as well as thousands of YouTube videos from popular creators, including beardless tech gnome Linus Tech Tip Sebastian. Meanwhile, Anthropic's web crawler is hitting some websites a million times a day, according to iFixit CEO, and Twitter slash X just quietly opted every user in to allowing the Grok chatbot to be trained on their posts. You can opt out in the settings, but Twitter might not be able to opt out if the EU finds them for breaching their privacy laws. We went on a bit of a tangent there. Now I'm going to talk about motherboards. Hundreds of computer devices sold by popular brands like Dell, HP, Supermicro, and Intel have had their secure boot protection compromised. For those unaware, secure boot is meant to prevent malware from infecting your device's BIOS and effectively becoming undetectable and unremovable. Unfortunately, security research firm Binarly discovered that several OEMs haven't been replacing the secure boot master key generated by BIOS vendors like American Megatrends. Not only do 215 device models share the same master key, but that key was also published in a public GitHub repository two years ago. Imagine that someone dropped a key in a busy parking lot, and now anyone that finds it has access to your entire apartment complex, the complex next door, and also somehow the diary you've kept since middle school. I have so many fearful feelings, but where do I write them safely? <laughs> Windows didn't really need another security hiccup right now. Microsoft is currently considering restricting access to the Windows kernel after a bugged update from cybersecurity company CrowdStrike caused a global IT outage a week ago. CrowdStrike CEO George Kurtz has claimed that over 97% of systems crashed by the update have been fixed, but that means around 250,000 devices are still down. Come on, guys. You're embarrassing me in front of the Linux community. Who's me there? You. Wi am I Windows? No. Am I you? You're a Windows user. 
who are you? Who are, where am I? I'm Jacob. You're also embarrassing all of us in front of our sponsor, Odoo. Like the weather, the outlook of your business can be a little unpredictable at times. That's why having a rock solid foundation you can rely on is so important. With a free website, thanks to Odoo, you can get just that. Their drag and drop elements make it easy to design a website that you can trust to make sure your customers don't get going even when the going gets tough. Stay here. You'll also get unlimited hosting, reliable support, and a free custom domain for an entire year. So visit the link in the description and get started. Gah, I have some bad news. Sadly, one of the quick bits got out of its cage and we haven't been able to find it. If you see it, tell it Papa misses it very much. Samsung has decided to make it harder to sideload Android apps. The auto blocker feature on Galaxy phones has been updated to prevent downloading apps from unauthorized sources and is now set to on by default in new devices, although it can be turned off in your device settings. Still, this decision to block sideloading by default didn't sit right with Epic Games, who announced it will be pulling Fortnite and its other titles from the Galaxy Store in protest. Frankly, I'm shocked that you can download apps from the Galaxy Store. I thought it was just there for decoration, art on the wall. Pretty much every detail about Google's upcoming Pixel 9 series has leaked in what I'm pretty sure is an annual tradition at this point. Included in the leaks are details about the Pixel 9 Pro Fold, which will feature a larger screen than the original Fold. The 9 series will also introduce new AI features like Pixel Screenshots, which is described as a watered down Microsoft recall. Yay! There's also an add me feature that allows you to easily add yourself to a photo you've taken. Finally, you'll never have to muster up the courage to ask a stranger to take a picture of you and your friends ever again. Don't talk to them, they're weird. A new Windows 11 feature will let you wirelessly browse your Android phone's files directly within Windows File Explorer. It doesn't work for iPhones though, probably because Tim Cook said no. Like this. No. <laughs> Please hold your applause. The feature is available to Windows insiders, but does have some issues when deleting phone files through your PC. Specifically, doing so moves the files to a new recycle bin folder on your phone, where they remain for five days. Microsoft is confusingly trying to increase this length of time to 30 days when I wanted to keep it for zero days. I deleted it, but okay. And NASA successfully used laser beams to stream 4K video to space and back. This is massive news for the astronauts aboard the ISS because they still haven't seen Oppenheimer. Seriously though, the new laser technology allows for 10 to 100 times faster data transmission than the radio waves NASA has been using for decades, meaning scientific data can be transmitted more quickly and it only mostly looks like a Death Star style super weapon. It's a little bit, but it's harmless, we, we think. However, if an alien spaceship arrives and starts causing problems, I don't know, we'll see what happens. It's a, it's a laser. We're gonna give you so many copies of Paul Blart Mall Cop 2, you won't believe it. <laughs> hey, Klaxians, you're gonna love these DVDs. Check them out. And you should see what happens when you come back to this channel on Monday. Spoiler alert! You'll get more tech news. Shh.